Now, the battle for golf resumes this week with the breakaway Live Golf Series hosting its third event and its second on American soil. This one comes with backing from former U.S. President Donald Trump. Trump is, of course, an avid golfer and remains a big backer of the breakaway series. He made a huge pitch for the series, which is fronted by former world number one Greg Norman last week, urging golfers to switch sides and join the Live Tournament. The PGA has suspended all rebels from its tournaments, but Trump argues a merger with Live Golf is inevitable. Trump also has an axe to grind with the golfing authorities in America. His organization had been chosen in 2014 to host next year's PGA Championship at the Trump National Course in Bedminster, New Jersey. But those rights were revoked after supporters of the then president stormed the U.S. Capitol in January of last year. It's that same course in New Jersey that is now hosting the Live Tournament starting this Thursday. Trump has been accused of being tone deaf by a group representing the families of survivors and victims of the 9-11 attacks in New York. The state of New Jersey alone lost 750 people during the attacks of 2001, and a survivors group has slammed Trump and the US-based players for agreeing to stage the live event there. The group maintains that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was complicit in the planning and staging of the attacks, a charge that the Saudis have always denied. Current U.S. President Joe Biden visited Saudi Arabia earlier this month and says he raised the issue of human rights abuses, including the murder of Saudi American journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Critics of the Live League have termed it sport washing, with players being offered multi-million dollar contracts to defect from the European and PGA Tours. The Live Golf Tournaments are played as a no-cut 54-hole event over three days with the winner taking home a cheque for $4 million.